What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn? No, she's Summers, alive. Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Where the hell do you go? Come on. You should be ahead of us. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. You now you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An yes. alcoholic in a liquor store. That was never going to work out, was it? No, it wasn't. You probably around. killed her. It's your fault, Robbins. You liked her and you just couldn't... Nope, couldn't handle it. She has a globe. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Isn't she won stuff too? If it didn't close, she probably would have been a millionaire. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Well, obviously, if she's living at a liquor store, Phelps, come on, it wasn't that hard to tell. Come on, we, do we really need to look at it a certain way to know it's rolling balls? I mean, rolling? Bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Yeah, she went bowling to drink. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Graham. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. She went there to drink and bowl, Phelps. Is there really a difference? Uh, she has a photo over here. Can I see the photo? She wasn't always such a loner. I don't know which one she is. They look they all look the same basically, just the hair. It's <clears throat> just the hair. And what the hell is she wearing around her neck? Yeah, I don't know who the hell the different is. Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Evelyn wasn't stupid. The stupid thing about her was reading. She just made bad choices. I understand what you mean, my friend. I understand what you mean. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. That's it. You're gonna arrest him. He probably did it. Yo, Rob Robbins, my man. Come here, Shirley. Is that someone buying something? Or is that him just fixing his stuff? Yo, we got some questions for you. We know you killed her. Now you gotta answer him. Boom! We're gonna do it right here. Uh, contact with the victim. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quarter of rye. Did she borrow money for you to buy stuff from you? Is it really like borrowing money then? Any idea where the money came from? Oh, never mind. She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. Oh, she she wants to get it in. Fighting and she had to make it up to him. She wanted to get it in. Relationship with victim. Were you like a dad to her? Because apparently her dad left her. Are you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. Um, excuse me. That did not answer my question whatsoever. We got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her staying here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. Oh, was that the mom? She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. That was a mom sending her like little things? I thought that was dad. I don't know why I thought that was dad. Alright, whatever. Knowledge of McCaffrey, that's probably... You know a she bought of it Evelyn's for. by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Oh, God, you are like quick to the point. There's nothing with you. Nothing. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. 
you could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Nah. Evelyn never hurt anybody. She hurt herself, so... That's kind of a false statement. Is that dude looking at us? What do you want, my man? He looks like a goddamn mafia person. Let's go to the bar. Are you gonna talk? Is it taking a left over here. Oh, they ain't doing anything. Just gonna... Wow, really? You literally stopped for two seconds. Now you're gonna go? Uh, we're not gonna talk about what just happened there. About how Robbins was more than just a friend. No way in hell did they just he put a bed there and just because oh we're good friends. Cause that's some bull. No way in hell. Oh my bad. That was my bad. I'm trying to get that five star. Yeah, that was some bull. No way, no way he was doing that and be like, oh yeah, it was because we're good friends. He was getting some in the side. That's how it works. That is how it works here. Let's go to this bar. This fancy bar over here. Oh, it's not even that fancy. Hey man, you can like do some better paint over here. Drink, fellas. No, I don't want to drink. I'm a goddamn cop. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? God, you look weird as shit. What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. Uh, you're the only What's one your here. Name? <laughs> Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers. It's reading Sherlock. Why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. I think he is reading Sherlock. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. It's the same shit, dude. You knew her, you were aware. Same thing. So don't don't try to change the words to confuse Phelps. Phelps knows everything. Uh, relationship with the victim. No, just that's wow. I'm I'm blind. It's criminal history. Why would he ask you that about her? Criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey. Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Is that Muhammad Ali back there? Or is that just me? Do you want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular yeah. fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Look at that. What a communist. Workers don't deserve rights. Oh my god, can you please just turn on the phone for me? Thank you. Someone's trying to text me over here. Anyway, relationship with victim. Yeah. Relationship. That's basically you what it is. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes. That is correct. You were lying. Look at that. You blinked your eyes before you said it. You lying. You you wouldn't give her a book. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at this, guys. Where's that book? Right here. Right here. What is this? George McCaffrey. I don't even know how to say his first name. But Ms. Caffrey. You won't give him. No one like you. A writer. I give a book to someone you don't even know. That's a goddamn lie. You're lying, McCaffrey. You look down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. Shit. Not only am I holding aces, I got a full house. I think, do aces be full house? I'm not sure. <laughs> but I got a full one. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. 
I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Now. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. I feel like I'm missing something. Ah, thank you. Don't need you. Let's go. Thank you, McCaffrey. Why didn't we arrest him? I don't know. I feel like he did it. Man, what the hell do you want to do? Answer. Answer the goddamn thing, dude. A message from Captain Donnelly. Return to Central. Go to. 11 King, en route. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. Nah, we're going to keep him waiting. He doesn't deserve our, our gratitude over here. He didn't deserve us. Where we gotta go. Yeah, our captain doesn't deserve us. He can wait. I know he pays us. Well, I don't even think he pays us. The city pays us. So he can wait. It's not really our boss. The city's our boss. That's how it works here. Huh? The people pay us with their taxes. So we are the people's peoples. You know what I'm saying? Right, let's go to that bowling alley. Woo -woo! Look at that, he's serving hot dogs over there. Right in front of a bowling alley. Look at that. He must not be having that good of a time. Hello, Rusty. Two on your usual lane? I'm Detective Feltz. Homicide. Yeah, you yell at her. <laughs> What's your shoe size? We're conducting an face. investigation, ma'am. Do you know the name Evelyn Summers? Sounds like I should. Oh, maybe it could be Jimmy's friend. Jimmy? James Tiernan. He's a pin setter. One day he introduced me to a lady after work. It stuck in my mind. Because she was much older, too old for him. Where can we find you? Looking at you. Don't really blame him. He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Thanks, ma'am. What does Phelps got to yell? Go get him. Oh, shit, I can see him running right now. Who's that dude running, huh? I think you're slick over here trying to run. Tiernan! LAPD! You try to hide in the back like you didn't do anything. Come on. At least run all the way out. You got in the car. Shoot the tire, Phelps. You're right there. No, oh, you got away. There. Good chasing. Good chasing. I was getting this. Oh my God, this is kind of cool. It's a small what are you car. What you for? Get after him. It's a you cool car. Look at this. If we weren't carrying the extra weight. Damn. Bogus, Phelps. You didn't have to go there. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Phelps, why, why are you such a goddamn... Phelps, you gotta get me closer. How do you care, Phelps? Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to lamb it. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Man, he's Keep right. it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Yeah, I got his ass. Look at that. Look, I'm gonna watch this flip. This is a killer. We can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs. No way, how he's flipping. He's, he's flipping. I'm gonna flip. This dude, I'm gonna He's got to flip. flip. No way, how he flips. Yeah, now I... it's not the time to play around, Phelps. That is the end of that. Uh, we done? Fucking time. Man, he should have flipped a long time ago. Let me go after his ass. Show me your hands. It's just true. You just were running away, not flipping on that one time. Uh, really? 
I'm gonna take this ugly ass Levin King car. Even though that car looks so much better. Oh my god, why can't we have that? Huh? Maybe the people in California should pay more taxes. We can have that kind of car. We'll be zooming. We'll be zooming through everybody. Let's go, let's go. With things are straight. Don't go. Nope. There you go. Keep LA safe. Drive safely. Yep, guys. Stop at the red lights, but if you're a cop, just keep on going. Oh shit, someone tested. Uh, hopefully I get to a custody court. No! Oh my god, cop! Really? Did you not see me there? You suck. I'm getting this five star. I should not have done that much damage. Alright, let's not do any more damage for the rest of the game. Rest of the game. If I do it by the rest of the game, then I think I should be okay. Yo, what up, man? What up, fat boy? The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. All right, thank you, fat man. Let's go. Need a drink. I got Anybody in injury too? You tell me, no other cops have other cases here. It's only me and uh, uh, Charlie over here, Dr little drunko. I, I have serious thoughts about that. Brought in the case of that poor lady killed. Well, they were talking about it. Excuse me, sir. You have to wait for me. I am the smarts of this organization. Nah, let me just run. Let me just run over here. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know? Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married. Yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. Damn, did Jameson snitch on him? <laughs> was Jameson like, yeah, I know that dude. That dude's my friend. I got her orders. Back in the Summers case. Get an address from McCaffrey who have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. Alright, cool. Let me just find a phone. You tell me... You know, the other dude just call my name. You tell me there's no other phone but this one. Out of all the police stations, it's not like an operator here. But like, yo, just tell me real quick. Operator, give me dispatch. Kind of hard to believe. Oh, it's dispatch. Operator is the wrong person. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. Why is that door closed? How could I help, Detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks. Thanks, yes, thank you. Thank you, old woman. I don't even know how you look like. Yo, what up, man? Let's go. Let's box out of here. I'm not on the right word to say. Let so me pose whoa. a question. How about you go Damn. back? What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. <laughs> yeah, that means he doesn't care. Unless somebody finds out, he don't want to get sued. If he gets sued, then the whole police station gets sued. Oh yeah, I'm trying to like... I told you, I totally said... Drive safe. Now that officer's on there. That <laughs> officer's good. He doesn't need help. Let's give him a shotgun. Turn left at the next junction. Alright, cool, thank you. Are you serious? Oh my god. Please. Watch where you're driving, you maniac! If I don't get this five star, I'm not doing this again. Cause I got the five star before, but still, oh my god. Alright, no more crashes. No more crashes. 
Alright, so say no more crashes. Unless hopefully we don't have to do another chase. Hopefully, I don't know, I forgot what the hell we're going to. I think we're going to Caffrey. Or however the hell you say his name. I think we're going to his place right now. So hopefully he doesn't run away and he's just like, Oh no, you got me, guys. I'm here, just take me in. Come on. Let them be that kind of person. Ah, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. No! You serious? Ugh! You gotta do a U-turn. Boom! Amazing driver Phelps over here. Excuse me, I go first. I was my... Right, I'm right away. Uh, boom, take that left, and bam, we're here. Look at that. Ah, boom, get on my way. Come on. That's jaywalking. That's illegal. Oh. Uh, let's see. Let's see where my man McCaffrey is. He ain't nowhere. No, I know we had to check this room right here. Yeah, that's weird to open that way, but whatever. Are you serious? Why can't I check? Why can't I check? Don't let me get stuck here. No! Shirley, get out of my way, please. Wow, I said don't let me get stuck. I go the other way. There you go. Goddamn. McCaffrey is in apartment 6. Thank you, Phelps. That's what I needed. Alright, let's go to 6.